Improving communication within a family is important for building strong relationships and for maintaining a healthy family dynamic. In today's video, it's all about the family and I'm going to be sharing some points on how you can maintain or improve communication in your immediate family, okay? So if this is a topic you are interested in, then please keep watching. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, so today's video is all about the family. So I'm going to be giving you some few points on how you can improve or maintain on communications in your family, okay? We know that the family is the basic unit that is saddled with the responsibility of training human beings to be human beings in the society. <laughs> Okay, the family is the basic unit where a child first learns to interact with others. So you see why this topic cannot be overemphasized, why this topic is very, very interesting. Let's get right into it. Now, my first point is be available. Make time in everyone's busy schedule to stop and talk about things, okay? Even 10 minutes a day without distractions for you, for your spouse, for your child or your children to talk can make a big difference in forming good communication habits. Turn off the television, turn off the radio, the cell phone, the tablet, the laptop and everything, okay? And just talk. The next one is be a good listener. Some people can talk, but they can't listen. When you listen to your child or to your spouse or to your sibling, it helps that child or that person to feel loved and valued. Ask that person about his or her feelings on a particular subject. If it is not clear about what the person is saying, repeat what you are hearing, just to be sure that you understand what that person is trying to say. Now the next one is show empathy. This means tuning in to someone's feeling and letting him or her know that you understand if your child or your spouse or your sibling is sad or upset, a gentle touch or a hug may let him or her know that you understand those sad feelings. Now, the next one is be a good role model. Remember, children learn by example. Use words and tones in your voice that you want your child or your spouse to use. Make sure that your tone of voice and what you are saying, send the same message. Make sure they are not conflicting. Make sure they are in sync. Another point is dine together. Do not let your wife and kids have meals while being cooked up in their own rooms. Don't eat separately. Don't do that. Make your family sit at the table and make that a routine. Enjoying meals together is a good way to open up the lines of communications and to get your group to start talking. Now, another thing you can do is schedule family time. You cannot get family time if you don't make time for it, okay? You have to schedule an hour a day for a seat together at the table or just have an idle talk. Another thing you can do is to do activities together. Doing activities together is a proven way to bond and interact with your family to interact with your family members. Activities could include such things as playing video games, going golfing, um, watching movies, or even praying together, okay? Anything that the family can enjoy doing as a group. Now, these are the few points I have to share with you today. If you have a thing or two to add to the points that I have said, please leave them in the comment section. I would love to read them. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're new here, thank you so much for tuning in today. I appreciate your presence and I do not take it for granted. Please hit that like button. Leave me a comment. I love interacting with you. Subscribe and share this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.